Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to continue where I left off in the other one. So basically, we have the grid down. It shows the buttons and everything. That's awesome. But now, uh, let's add the other stuff that's actually more important. Well, not more important, but that we need. So first off, we're going to create an entry. GTK.entry, and let's just call it entry, because we're awesome. And then string first, string second and then string last operation so this is gonna hold the first entry the first numbers that they enter so for example this is gonna be like 56 and then if they hit the plus sign it saves it right here and then it starts saving the numbers that they enter in this one so basically like that that way we can keep track of which numbers of one numbers have been entered and then a boolean is second to let us know if they're on the second number or not <clears throat> Alright sweet, that's pretty straightforward. Now in the init UI, we're actually going to oh snaps, what I do? We're actually going to create the uh, method that initializes the entry. Init entry. Cause yeah, sure why not. And then let's just go over here. Uh, let's make it private void init entry. Init entry. All right, and then basically we're just gonna say entry equals new GTK dot entry. Oh, come on, and then so users can't type anything into it. We say editable editable equals false. Oh, come on. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now basically the thing we're gonna do now is basically overwrite this on click method. So basically, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to delete this line, see, and then we're gonna create a label, a string that holds the buttons label. So btn that get label, simple as that. All right, sweet. Now all we have to do is just check if label is equal to plus, oops, or if it's ah, come on, man. It's equal to minus, and if it is, then we know. Well, we're gonna set set this. The last operation is this one, so they want to do plus or minus. That's saved, and then we know that it's second, so it's gonna be true. And just to give you guys a heads up, this is gonna be like a really crappy calculator. So yeah, it's just it's gonna be really crappy. You guys are gonna see why. This is just an example. So anyways, we do entry.text equals entry, oh, did I spell that right? Entry.getText plus label. All right. Now, if that's not the case, then if, for example, the user presses enter to know what the final value is, this is what we're going to do. We're gonna do int f, which is going to hold the first number, parse first, like that. Then int s to parse the second one. Second, there you go. Oh, well, you know what, guys? I did not initialize the values of first and second. So let's go do that. Init values. So first equals nothing and second equals nothing as well so just empty strings all right let's go back to where we were uh, let's see so what I was doing oh yeah so now the answer for all of those answer equals well it depends on what the answer is oops um, plus if it's that then we know to add both of these guys if not then we know that first has to be subtracted by the second. All right, sweet. Now we do entry dot text is going to display the answer. Answer and remember we have to convert the integer to a string, so that's how we do it. Answer to string, and then is second equals false. Now if none of that is the case, then we just add. The whatever they entered to the entry box. So if it's not second, then first plus equals label, 
else oops second plus equals label as well all right so then it's entry dot text equals entry dot lowercase entry dot get text you know I can just do text like this too but whatever plus label all right um let's see I think that's it let's see I'm probably just probably gonna explode in my face right now balak uh, let's create an executable. It's going to create the package. It's going to need the package gtk plus minus 3.0 and then main that bala. And let's see, is it going to explode in my face? Hmm, apparently not. Sweet. So let's run the executable. Sweet. Ah, oh, wait. Ah, uh, you see, I forgot something. We got to add the uh, entry. So let's just add it. We don't care how it is added, just do it. Bam, okay. That should solve the problem. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so if we do 5 plus 5 equals what? Equals 10. Bam. Look at that. But remember how I said this is going to be a really crappy calculator? There's no way to delete that. So if we do plus 5. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is horrible. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, wow, that is completely horrible. I told you guys this is going to be a crappy calculator. But anyways, you guys get the idea. Um, hmm. Yeah, so in the next video, I'm probably going to show you guys um, how to style the buttons. So the thing I like about Bala is the way that you can you can style the buttons using C CSS. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so if you guys want, you guys can play with this and make it better or whatever. Because I sure as heck did not make it good or anything it only worked the first time all right sweet that's uh, pretty much it um